okay we'll continue where we left off uh, we had the collision check method and we have the step one step two methods right jack has step jack object within that we have the step one and step two methods we added and within the world we added the collision check methods collision check is okay but if you look into jack step one step two even that code looks kind of repetitive you know except that turns right so question is is it possible to combine step one and step two to the same code well yes it is okay our goal is we are going to create another generic step method so just call it step okay then we want to know step which way uh, we are turning so we should be able to do this step one and step two together right so common thing so let's go ahead and copy the code here and go to the step click on here and bring it here okay so i copied the step one code here um, but uh, that's not what we want. It's not just a step one. We should be able to do step two too. So how can we tell which way to do? So the, we have a generic step method. We need a way to mention it's a step one, step two. Okay. Well, that's where the parameters come in. We're going to specify a parameter. Um, what should we call it? Um, number i guess step number or flag that's okay number so let's say uh, let's uh, choose uh, um, that's fine so num let's say the number let's say okay so he have now jack step coming in with a number okay so now so based on this number right based on this uh, number uh, variable we have to do two different things okay um, so for uh, for making step one we want to keep the same thing for step two uh, do we want to do the step two? Of course, you can just simply ch check here number. Let me go ahead and complete the program. Then it makes it a little bit easier. So step here. One. Step here. Drag it here. It's asking what value are we going to pass the parameter step two. So now we can delete this delete it so see now it's a one method step method and uh, with a, just a different parameter values we are making this step method to be intelligent okay so what can you do here well you can uh, just uh, bring a if statement there and if it's if it's one do this step one else step two let's go ahead and do that if statement you drag it here and uh, I put it there if now step number equal to one that is step one and the otherwise it's step two so you can either click here or click here okay so you can since, since the tab is already open so I'm going to bring in the step two code and go back to step step two code okay so if number equal to one do the step one otherwise do the step two Let's play and make sure it works fine. Okay, that's working fine. So, so you can see the go back to the five, my world, my first method. All we are using is step one, collision check, step two, collision check. But for the process, we are really using only two methods, which means I can delete this step one, delete this step two okay we reduced one more method so we have only two remaining methods well something is a bit unsettling right we we moved the step one and step two code here but in the in the process we didn't really reduce the number of lines you know so 
we kind of didn't achieve much in that sense right in fact you may even say that this is more complicated than the original one the step one step two right so now uh, into some math okay so what we want to do is uh, send in this number such that you can do some math operation and work with just one code i'm going to delete this i'm going to keep it here our goal moving here I'm goal is to really use this same code itself and get the job done. How can we do? Um, that starts with a very simple observation. Turn backward point 0.1 is same as turn forward minus point 0.1, right? Somebody giving you um, something, well, Let's stick to this one. <laughs> Turning backward, point 0.1 revolution is turning f equivalent to turning forward minus point 0.1 revolution. Okay, so um, so what are you going to do? Well, you can pass in the number as the one or minus one. Okay, so let's see right here math multiply the expression number what am i doing it is go ahead and multiply with a number so I click here right click here math expression point one multiplied by expression number click on the number so now number is going to be multiplied so when it value comes as one no problem so value other times value will come as the two right that's not good we don't want to send it as two so instead what should be the value reverse right so we want to pass minus one so if we go here so when one comes it will be turned backward point one when minus one comes in it will become turned backward minus point one okay Turn backward minus point 0.1 is uh, revolution is same as turn forward point 0.1 revolution. See, so we have managed to achieve step one and step two both using the same code. Okay, so absolutely no difference. So yeah, everything is uh, pro proper. So right there we have come up with some concise code and we managed to get the job done. Right, so here step one and collision check step minus one in a sense minus one is a reverse of the step one right collision check okay we are done